Hi, my name is Tom Sheehy. I'm doing my speech for Journalistic Media and Society. I have chosen the discussion of relating public relations and journalism together, how they correlate with each other, and how one affects the other. Um, this is not always in a positive light. Um, there's some honesty issues uh, because of the intention that the news outlets and public relations have um, peop the public re relies on their newscast newspapers um, on delivering the current events and there is a relationship and a trust that is built with whom they decide to watch or read um, depending on shared interests uh, thoughts and um, and public relations was able to aid this by getting the public and, and, and figuring out a way to draw the public in to kind of persuade them to follow either a certain situation or a story. Um, there was a story in the textbook that uh, when Ivy Lee uh, who could be considered the father of public relations, there was a conflict between coal miners and President Theodore Roosevelt in the early 1900s. Um, and the coal miners were getting a bad reputation uh, because of the unions and everything else. And so uh, they turned to Ivy Lee, who was a publicist at the time, who was able to find a common ground between the coal miners and the public and they were able to kind of flip the story on um, how these coal miners were viewed. And this is kind of where the start of public relations started. Um, you know, Ivy League kind of rewrote the rules on how corporations deal with their various publics, was, is a quote actually from the textbook. He used institutional openness, finding upbeat angles, giving organizations a face and straight talk to uh, attribute to his success. Um, as public relations became more mainstream, they started bringing on corporations. Um, they started using tragic events like world wars, uh, Korean War, Vietnam, um, to kind of persuade the public, uh, to, to, uh, kind of be swayed one way or another, either being for or against the wars, um, supporting the troops, and there's this is done by posters, commercials, and so on and so forth. There was this uh, film that we were required to watch called Toxic Sludge, Toxic Sludge is Good for You, um, and there was a, an example that they used about how public relations was able to kind of manipulate the the viewer into selling a product rather than delivering honest news and this is where kind of journalism was at of a, a turning point in their honesty because these pieces called um these are uh either news releases or media kits where they would be pre where they would be pre uh Packaged, like they pre-filmed, polished stories where they would have some doctor, doctor that would have give their approval and tell their statistics on exactly what this product would do, like a medicine or whatever. And they would have they would set up a scene in a hospital where somebody was administering some kind of medication to a patient, and they would. Um, try to sway the audience in that way so that way you know to sell their product um, and I, I understand that a separate discussion was about ethics but I think this kind of goes hand in hand because there's a lot of ethical um, discrepancy here because journalists is being are supposed to be honest um, according to the um, 
Society of Professional Journalists. Members of the Society of Professional Journalists believe that public enlightenment is the forerunner of justice and the foundation of democracy. Ethical ju journalism strives to ensure that fr the free exchange of information that is accurate, fair, and thorough. An ethical journalist acts with integrity. Um, and for the most part, this is true, but a lot of news media is becoming financially burden right now because um, as technology continues there are other outlets for people to find their news with social media um, like Twitter Facebook there's uh, there's so many other outlets for people to find out what current events are going on that newspapers and newscasts are kind of following on on the wayside here um, so you know so they're kind of doing whatever they can do to keep their head above water so to speak so, um, but yeah, in, in, in short, they work together. There's very similar, um, journalism and public relations as being very similar also are very opposite as far as what their goal is. Journalism wants to give a fair an unbiased story to a public where public relations wants to aid the journalist and cares more about the actual customer rather than the consumer and just to help sway the audience one way or another. Thank you.